Alright, so after two days of building, I finally completed this. And this is a Lego Ninjago movie, 70620 Ninjago City. Pretty big, it's 4,867 pieces. And it's a big box too. Alright, so this is the front of the box. You can see all the uh, details on the front of the entire building. You turn it around, you get all the play features of the entire set. The sides just have some more decorating saying the Ninjago movie. Uh, the bottom does it just has more Ninjago stuff. And the top lists all the mini figures in the set. About 16. Alright. So this is the box. Inside the box we got another box. Two of these. Um, in each, uh, there were, uh, eight, uh, there's a total of 16 bags, uh, eight in each box, and tip, if you're gonna make this set, open one box at a time, so it's a lot of bags. I have nightmares thinking about that. Alright, so that's the box. We built the set in 17 hours, right? So that's, if you're thinking about it, if you split that up evenly, that's two days of just building. So, we're gonna start. This is the base in the Java City. It's called the Old World. Some of this foliage just keeps on falling off. Right, so we're gonna go to in-depth look of everything in the set. This is the bottom. Alright, we're going to start from right here. We have a pillar that helps keep up uh, all the stuff built on top of it. We have another pillar, which looks like a crab shop speaker. If you look at it from the front, you'll see. Right, And then uh, we have a telephone right here. A sticker on the door piece to make it look like more Chinese. Uh, or Japanese, wherever ninjas are from. And then you have some uh, completely white windows right here. And it looks pretty nice. Uh, this is a completely rare piece, not seen before. The is curved piece on top of the telephone. That's pretty new. Right? But this, this side you have um, more foliage, uh, a bridge with some decorating. Like, uh, this is a uh, set, uh, piece also included in most of the other Ninjago uh, sets. Right? The bridge ends right here, but uh, there's nothing, so basically if you keep on walking, you're going to fall in the water and drown. Um, another transparent green sign, right? I can pick that up, and you have another sushi sign. Um, S-U-S-H-I, sushi in Chinese. And it says this way, so for sushi, go that way. Right? Uh, and then you have a lot of water. This is the entire canal. Um, a robot right here, which I'll show you later. This is a door right here. Goes to a smaller, more compact building. Uh, it's, it's the robot's charging station. And that you have a tool. On the other side, you have a. Let's see if I, I could probably just take this off. You have a sign with instructions for the robot. So if you can, in case he like falls or breaks, you could fix him again. That just goes right here. And I can just push that down. Um, and this door closes. Every door should close. And then you have a fish market right here with two fish and a crab. Uh, this roof styling is, that was really amazing, because it's just 19 crowbars. Really, just 19 crowbars. And you can position it any way you like, because it's made on two bars. There's one bar right here, another bar right here. This is plastic. This is also plastic, but it's more flexible. So you can, so if I want, I can make it completely straight. Whoops, sorry about that. I can make it completely straight if I want. I could push it down like that. 
I can even make it curve. Look, I press it down right here. Look at that. I can make the roof whatever time I want. That's pretty cool. Um, you have a balcony piece right here. I'll show you what that's for later. You have a really, really nice elevator right here. Um, it's pretty smooth. It gets stuck at some places, but right now it's fine. The minifigure sits right there. And that's a little printed piece, pretty nice. Uh, you've seen it before in some Star Wars sets and stuff. Uh, and the minifigure could basically press it and go wherever he wants. He or she. Right? Let's go to the... Uh, we have a compartment right there. It's more piping for the um, elevator. Wow. Alright. Minifigures on this level, we have Sweep, a cleaning robot. It's uh, it's brick built. It's not a minifigure of any sort. It's really nice though. Um, there's this really nice piece for his uh, head right there. Uh, I've never seen it before. And this hat just goes right on him. He has a broom and he has another clipper, but that's in uh, his... Um, charging station. He has a basket on the back to put all the trash in. That's sweet, right? I'm gonna put that right here. Then we have our second minifigure, the Jamanakai Villager. Um, he's pretty old. He has a staff, or probably just a walking stick because he's so old. And um, he has a frog in the back in this little pouch. It's the same pouch that uh, Sweep has for the garbage. Right, and then we have another minifigure right here on the bridge. Uh, her name is Sally. She's a little kid, and she has some mud stains on her shirt and some really long hair. Right, she's just a kid, so she doesn't have any leg articulation as the other grown-up minifigures do. Right, so we're gonna keep her right here. So this is the old city right so they built more on top of this to make the entire Jago city so we're gonna bring in the next two pieces the first one is this little apartment dining room that just I think I put it on wrong nope like this and it just fits right in uh, it takes a little bit of finding but it Secures it in place, so now it's not going to fall when I push it. If you look from the top, you're going to see um, a big tea kettle and uh, two teacups. You have a uh, minifigure, Ivy Walker. Uh, I'll take her out and show you later. And then you have a poster. It says it has a tiger on it. Some Chinese writing that I haven't uh, translated yet. Right? And... You have, on the side, you have this rice paper door. You've seen this in past Ninjago um, sets before. Um, now, yeah, that's basically it, right? So now we have the other part of the apartment, which is the living, not the living room, but, uh, hold up, the bedroom. The bedroom is really nice. It has a... A bed on the floor, which is something you don't see nowadays. Um, you have a TV say "Good Day Ninjago," which is a reference to uh, "Good Night," uh, "Good Morning America," "Good Day Ninjago." Um, you have a, a cabinet on the side of the bed, and another cabinet under the TV. All right, so those are the two uh, houses, but the apartment blocks. And that's, that makes everything even. So now we can add another layer on top of it. This is the entire old world. We're going to add another layer on top of it. The first layer that goes on that will be this right here. This is, whoops. This is the street. That's what they're calling it. In the set. This all is connected. Right? That guy keeps on falling. Here, I'm gonna take him off. So, 
So you have, in this you have a comic book shop, a crab restaurant, and a poster. Right? Um, the elevator. I'm going to start from one side and go to the other. The elevator still works, right? It gets jammed a little bit because there's a big gap between um, each uh, layer. So it sometimes gets jammed. Um, so let's start from the front. Right here, you have a poster. And this is pretty cool because you have four posters. Um, to change the poster, all you need to do is take these two things off. Right? There's a door right here. You can open. There's a sign right here, but the sign's secret function is that if you press it down, guess what comes out the other side? Three posters right here. You have three posters, total of four. Um, right. See, I don't like this poster anymore. I just slide it out. Right? This is a uh, coming soon poster for a movie called Gladador. Galador. Right. So I have four total. And I want to put this one right. I slide that out. And there's two rails that I can just balance it in the middle. Close this. See the other one? Here. And close that. And then I take these other three. And I'm going to push it in enough so the sign is going to pop back up. And you'll see that. See, and then I close the door. I get secured. Now I can't take the signs out. And this sign is still there. All right. Keep on turning it. Right here, you have the crab restaurant. In the side, we have, um, we have a crab cooker. Uh some tools for um, preparing the crab to give to the customer, which right now is the officer. And this is probably a really cool feature that most of you guys will like. I can close this. See how it's cooked right now? I can magically make it uncooked, right? It's not supposed to be like that. You're supposed to only cook it, but um, it's just a, lever in the back that I can just turn and it twists the crab and see right now it's not attached to this in any way it just has to fit inside the grill so right now it's not cooked I can close this take the lever which I'll show you later turn it open it and it's it's cooked right I'll keep that closed uh what else that's basically the biggest feature in the crab store. You have a moving crab for the sign with uh, movable pincers. Go up and down and side to side. Yeah. And then you have some really nice windows on the side. Right? And then if you come around from right here, you'll see there's a, there's a little ATM looking thing. Well, it's not ATM looking. It is an ATM. It's a pretty cool ATM that actually works. It gets jammed sometimes because it doesn't like cooperating. So I can, I have the lever on the top. See this green one right here? I can push it. And out comes. Uh, it's not, oh, there we go. Lego money. And there's a total of 13. I'm only going to do two just for time's sake. This, these reels don't come down, but this reel comes down. So you can easily take off the money and just hundred dollar bills. Right. And then right here is a really cool build. It's a comic book shop. And the comic book shop has uh, two levels. The first one is this. It's a brick built comic sign. It's pretty cool. And uh, this is the ceiling portion of the comic shop where there's like a, a gun, obviously for a com uh, comic book character. On the other side, there's a cat poster saying Believe, which you saw in the Lego movie. Um, and then some trophies on the side with the frog. Right? And then you have the comic book shop. There's a minifigure right here. Um, if you look on this side, there's um, some cards. 
Uh, some of them ha are references to the old Ninjago TV show. And then you have these four comic books saying Starfare, and it's printed. It's really nice. No stickers of any sort, and it's one of the best prints I've seen from uh, Lego in a long time. And then on the other side, you have some trophies. Uh, they're micro figures, and they're just recolored. Um, and you get an extra one of every single one of those because they're so small. And I was, I was happy about that. Yeah. This comic book thing goes right on top of it, just like that. So that's the basic fe uh, features of uh, all the buildings. But if you see on the side, there's a lot of signage. There's a surfboard. Uh, sign saying Trilobite, an RR sign, sign in Chinese, don't understand it. This is a big uh, little decorative um, rail piece. Um, All City, a big X, Dragon Power, more Chinese, Chinese, and this was just a brick built um, um, sign made out of uh, like new pieces, you haven't seen them before. This is printed. Pretty cool, right? So this is the street. You have more of the street though. This isn't all of it. Pick this up. All right? Put it on. See, it just snaps on, right? Turn it around. Now you can see how everything is rising above the canal. It's not just a little bit, but it's, it's going to be really tall. Elevator still works all the way down. This is pretty big. I'll be scared. All right. We start from the top of the poster. You have some more decorative uh, stuff right here. I don't know for sure, though, what it is. Um, it doesn't have any play feature or anything. It's just It's just there. So then you have this department for toys, clothes, hats, and other stuff. Phones, uh, mainly. So you have uh, two mannequins with uh, special Ninjago Dojo suits. That's pretty new. Um, you have a total of five hats on the top. You have a black hat, a safari hat, a space helmet, a knight's hat, and another... Just purple top hat. Um, and then you have some more hats in the center. There are four orange hats uh, that you've seen in Ninjago before. You have a skateboard right here that you can take off. It's hard, but you can still take it off. Just like that, right? And it just clips on. Just like that. Then you have some folded clothes, what it looks like. A security camera on top of it. Another security camera right here with more clothes under it. Um, and a phone rack. You can buy some phones from here and a golden frog. Because golden frogs are all the craze nowadays. Right? Uh, now we're going to see all the minifigures in the street portion. So I'm going to take this back off and see the minifigures in this. So we got uh, a minifigure called Mother Doomsday. Comic book shop owner. If you remember the uh, Galador poster... He's wearing a Galador shirt. Pretty cool. Right? Our second minifigure is Guy. His name is literally Guy. Like, I don't know anyone who named him Guy. That's weird. But he has a pink shirt with some printed fish on him. Uh, apparently he's rich because he has a $100 bill. Um, he has some cool sunglasses and some jeans. Alright, our next minifigure will be Severin Black, the uh, crab restaurant owner. Well, he has a crab on him, and he has um, a hat with a cool red, uh, red and gold crab shirt. It's crabulous. And then you have um, Officer Noonan, the only police officer in Ninjago City. Um... Right, she has jeans on too, and she has a cool silver over black um, torso.
torso with uh, some sunglasses and a officer's hat. And then we have uh, Tommy. He's also a little kid. Uh, he has a green ninja shirt on uh, with some long wavy hair. I'm pretty sure he wants to be the next green ninja when he grows up. Uh, we have the shark army gunner. Uh, minifigure also seen in uh, the green ninja mech dragon um, from the same Ninjago movie. Uh, but this time he has a uh, fish shooting out some sparkly stuff. Um, it's a piece seen in the Lego Frozen sets, right? Uh, hold up. Right, and then we see uh, Jay. Jay is the main ninja. He's the only ninja included in the set, and he's he's cool. He's blue. Um, he's black and blue. I just feel like his head is a little bit offset. The two lines on his uh, ninja mask are a little bit offset compared to his face. But other than that, he's a really cool minifigure. He has some orange on his legs, um, a little bit of orange on his torso too, and a, a um, weapon with a tooth on it or some spike. A claw, maybe. Uh, we have the next... It's back on here. And right here we have a minifigure called Juno. Um, she has a little umbrella made out of a hat, the orange hat that we saw in the department store. Um, a purple torso with no sleeves and some gold printing on the front and back. She has two faces, one of them having a normal face and the other side if I turn it around without breaking anything you have sunglasses so you can put her on the bridge too and have her looking out in the sea with some sunglasses right so that's the street now we go to oh wait I forgot some money the guy knocked over sorry about that um, Kai, he's one of my favorite minifigures. Uh, this is the first one that I've gotten of him. Uh, not in his ninja suit. He has a little croissant. Um, and he's dressed in all red, right? Put him there. Um, we have the next level of Ninjago City. The high rise. This is the first thing we're going to put on. This is the, uh, Lloyd's and Misako's apartment. It just goes right here. On top of the construction zone. The cool story about the construction zone is it's actually just another apartment, but it's not completed. And they probably left it uh, uh, alone for a lot of years because now there's a bonsai uh, tree growing right out of it, which looks pretty nice. It adds a lot of freshness to Ninjago City, but I, I like how it's right under the new apartment. This is a finished apartment. Um, it has a golden window. And this roof just snaps down. Uh, you have the door right here. It just opens, and I'll show you the inside right now. This is the roof. I'll show you that later. Um, you have two beds. Top one's for ninja, uh, Lloyd. The bottom is for Misako. If you want to see the bottom one, you can just take this off. All right, and then I can put this back on. Because that's what I need to do. Um, if you look right here, you have a bookshelf with three different, I guess, trophies. Uh, and then, uh, you see you have, uh, a bookshelf with, uh, four the spaces for books to go. Uh, what else? You have, if you go from this side, you can see the microwave on the top, the countertop, and another TV saying, Good Day Ninjago. Right. Then the roof. This is probably another important part of the set. The roof is actually just a containment area for Lloyd's suit. It's the Green Ninja. He's secretly the Green Ninja, but no one knows that because to be a ninja, you need to be secret. That's the whole point of being a ninja. Um, it's just uh, stored in his attic, and the that piece just goes straight on top of here. Just like that. You have a little uh, dish 
to see some TV, maybe, I guess. Yeah. Right. That's the first part of the high rise. The second part of the high rise is a sushi bar. It goes right here. Uh, we're going to start from here to right here. There's more elevator. What's the point of showing that? Um, you have a, f a squid sculpture and a puffer fish sculpture. I really like this one. It's pretty complicated, but it's worth it once you're done building it because it really impacts the, um, the brightness of Ninjago City. You have another sign that hangs out from here. Um, right here you have just a rooftop uh, designed element right here. Um, I haven't seen these before, but they probably showed up before. Um, starting from here, we have three tables for sushi. Um, table one for one person, table two for two, uh, one person, table three for two people. Um, you have three seats right here for the sushi boat train. And that, I can turn it. Sushi just keeps on going. When she is done with one piece of sushi, go to the next one. She's done with that, go to the next one. Right? This just easily just comes off. So let's just say Lloyd wants some sushi. I put that on his table. He can eat some sushi. Right? I'm going to keep this on the sushi boat, though. Because that's where it belongs. Right. Uh, you have some a fish right here and a chopping uh, knife for the fish to make more sushi. Um, and then this... This is a disguise for our crab chef right here, Severin Black. Take the crab off, take his uh, head off. The first thing I'm going to put on it is, is the mustache right here. Then I put his face. Whoops. I'll get that. Three, two. And so this is um, him with the uh, uh, mustache on. We have this cap that just goes on here. See? Sushi chef. Totally convincing. <clears throat> Not. So I'm going to put him aside. So that's basically it um, for the sushi bar. We're going to show the minifigures before I move on. This is Lloyd in his street clothes. Um, and his mom, Misako. Coco, with she has two chopsticks uh, holding her hair into a bun, and she's wearing brown pants and a green a jacket on top of the tank top. Right? On top of this goes the bathroom, because every person has to go. That just goes like that. There's the two spikes, so I'll show you what they're for later. And if you look inside, you have a toilet. Um, toilet paper, air freshener right there, the cherry, and the sink right there. There's a rice paper door that opens up from the side, right? Um, and then on top of that, we have the cherry on top, the tower for Ninjago City. That just goes on right there. It's pretty loose, but it stands tall, stands straight. There's a big circle in the middle. Uh, that, that's, uh, I don't know what they were thinking. It looks really nice. Um, three antenna from the top, another antenna right here. Alright. In Jungle City, we have one more thing. The boat. This goes in the canal. The canal is right here. He has barely enough space, but he can fit through. Hunt fish. Just can't fit right now because he has a spear. I take the spear off. I can still I can push him right through. Right? So let's just put him back. Right? Ninjago City, would I recommend it? Definitely. It's a really nice, detailed uh, structure, right? Uh, if I could rate it on a scale of 10, I would rate it 9 out of 10. Uh, 9 out of 10 only because 
some of the play features uh, get jammed a little bit and uh, I feel it could have been better. Uh, but let's take one more look around. So let's just take one more look around the entire thing. This is the front. You have our high rise street and the old city, right? We turn it around from the side, you can still see the stuff. The back, it's built on an L shape, so you have this entire chunk that's not there. It's really cool because it exposes all the camera friendly angles to the entire set. Um, you have the roof for the charging station, the roof for the apartment, the um, air conditioning unit and the pipes for the comic book shop, the little sign in Chinese for the construction zone, two decorative pieces for the house. Go around here, you have the giant elevator. It goes all the way up. All the way. It doesn't go any more than this. Right? And it goes all the way down. Right? It's a pretty big elevator, right? Uh, from the side, this is a really cool part of Ninjago City. Look at all that detailing for the elevator. It's not even painted. Like, it doesn't look like it's been painted. Just been, like, they put more stones on top of it. And the, the amount of, I guess, love that they put into this entire set really shows off once they built the entire thing. Um, you have some bricks right here. And just goes all the way down. Alright, let's take one more look at the front. So yes, Ninjago City. Um, probably one of the greatest sets of all time. I really like it. Um, definitely is a set worth buying. Um, and the amount of detail put in this, it's really pays off for all the time that you uh, spend building the entire thing. It's, it's, I would say that this is a really, really beautiful set that I would recommend this if you are to choose any Lego set in the whole world. So yeah, my name is Krish. This is Ninjago City 70620. Thank you.